now let's uh, solve the challenging case uh, 178 now I have shown you a corneal cross section uh, of a patient uh, keratoconus you should remember one thing formula a mnemonic V for walked stri and H for hub stri so if you look uh, at this picture uh, you can see vertical lines so these are very fine straight whitish vertical lines in the posterior stroma and decimate membranes in a keratoconus patient we all know that uh, the most common and most important corneal ectasia is keratoconus uh, and you sh we should know all the signs of keratoconus and one important sign is uh, these walk stri walk stri are usually vertical but you can have a rarely horizontal stri as well and why these are formed well orientation of the lines is with the steepest axis of the cornea and uh, mechanism is that mechanical stress forces on collagen lamellae radiating from the corneal apex so this is a mechanical stress on the corneal collagen lamellae so now we know where to look for the walk stri these are usually at the corneal apex uh, with the highest astigmatism uh, with the, and you can see these with high magnification uh, and another identification point is that the that walk stri they disappear temporarily with external pressure to the globe so that also tells you that uh, these are the stress lines and how to identify and confirm walk stri and one of the important uh, signs of uh, keratoconus at the end, I would like to thank Dr. Usama Iqbal from Gujramala that he provided me with this uh, beautiful uh, picture and, uh, of a corneal cross section of uh, walk stri. Highly appreciate it. Thank you very much.